Good morning, skiers and riders, Sugarloaf and Carabasset Valley. Hope you're ready for another great day enjoying the outdoors. This weather and trail update brought to you by The Widowmaker. Find them upstairs in the base lodge with a brand new look and find this and much more on our website at wskitv.com. We'll, we'll see uh, partly sunny skies, especially this morning. We'll see some increasing clouds in the afternoon with a good chance of some uh, afternoon snow showers out there. Could see an inch of accumulation or so. Summer temperatures today, 20 to 24. Base temperatures, 28 to 32, so still very comfortable out there. A southwest breeze noticeable at the top of the mountain so just be aware of that if you're going to be up uh, higher up on the hill becoming mostly sunny could see some clouds first thing in the morning on tuesday but then that sunshine will prevail 26 to 30 for your summer temperatures 33 to 37 for your base temperatures so very comfortable out there and we will still see that west southwest breeze noticeable up towards the summit of the mountain but shouldn't cause any issues for the day on wednesday looks like as those warm temperatures move through we could see uh, a little bit of precip starting off with maybe a few showers or a mix and then turning over to snow 37 will do it for your high but we'll get colder throughout the day thursday partly sunny skies with a high of 34 and then heading in towards the end of the week we'll see a chance of some snow showers on friday with a high temperature of 36 degrees birchwood interiors check them out in village west they do anything within the walls of a home camp or condo Check them out. 152 is the trail count. Eight lifts getting into those runs. 61 trails on the groomers list last night. We're looking at nice packed powder conditions out there. Get out there and enjoy it. Bracket Basin is open. And do want to remind you that there are private cat tours available during midweek. Central Mountain Trails on the groomers list last night. Timberline, Tote Road, Upper Double Bitter, Bitter Haywire, Spurline, King's Landing, and Hayburner. Uh, a couple passes on the east side of Skidder. Competition Hill. That was the groomers pick for this morning. Narrow Gauge, Spillway Sluice. Gondola line, white nitro from the top, as well as wedge, and all the trails around the base area smoothed out. Over on the east side, you'll find fresh corduroy on Widowmaker and Flume, as well as Ram Down. Lower down, you'll find Two Hall, Wiffle Tree, Slasher, and Rollway, and Scoot over on the west side of the mountain, as well as all the terrain parks get work every night. Snubber, Sawduster, and Skidway. Those three lifts move you around the base area at 830 if you're just learning to ski or ride. And then at 830 as well, Double Runner East gets you a little higher on the hill for some nice wide groomed out runs down boardwalk and super quad skyline get going at 8 30 as well to get you pretty much anywhere you need to go uh, on the mountain if you do want to get over to bracket basin take the skyline lift up to spillway crosscut and head east wiffle tree that gets going at 8 30 this morning a nice fast super quad with some great intermediate terrain as well as the beginner terrain park and timberline gets going at 9 a.m should see some great views up there this morning some great expert skiing over the front face and some great intermediate and beginner skiing over off the west side on the timberline trail great conditions at the sugarloaf outdoor center for just about everything the ice rink should be open until 5 p.m today great cross-country skiing as well as snowshoeing and some great food at the bull moose bakery and cafe so go check out the sugarloaf outdoor center a great alternative to alpine skiing if you want to do some fat biking it is available over off of the narrow gauge pathway some trails still remain a bit soft but there is some riding out there on the single track and want to let you know that the arnold trail snowmobile club wants everyone to know that the groomers have been out and this the riding on the trails is in great shape so get out there and enjoy another great way to see the main high peaks region from a different point of view a snowmobile and check out our live quad camps you can see exactly what's happening in real time at our website wskitv.com you can also find Find us on Facebook, Twitter, as well as Instagram. Have a great day, folks.